All right, now that we've got the big overview out of the way and you've got a good understanding of the general workflow inside of Substance 3D Painter, we're gonna start getting into some of the details of the very, very basics before moving into some more advanced topics. First things first, let's just talk about the overall layout. Like, what are we looking at here? What do we got to work with? So if you are familiar at all with Photoshop or Illustrator, this layout's gonna feel somewhat familiar to you. And that's because the general positioning of everything is about the same. So let's just kind of work left to right and then we'll cover some different areas here. So starting all the way on the left, you'll see that we've got this panel of very familiar, again, Photoshop tools. You'll see things like a paintbrush and eraser. Uh, we'll go through all of these individually, clone stamp, all that good stuff over here. But just know that this is kind of an area where you can be selecting from some uh, basic tools uh, over here. The next panel is our assets panel. This is a huge one. So this is going to be containing all of our basic materials, all of our paint brushes, all of our decals and logos and, and all that good stuff that we can add to the model. And you can see you can quickly just drag and drop that into our main workspace here, which is the middle section of our scene. This is gonna take up the majority of our screen real estate and that's because this is where our objects is gonna live and where we're going to be interacting with that. You can obviously tumble around it, you can uh, look at it from different angles. I can also paint directly on the object as the name of the software would indicate. So we've got all that going on with us as well. Moving to the right column here, we've got three different sections. Upper In the upper right, this is our texture set list. So this ball man model, uh, which is from the Academy of Animated Art, you can get a free link to download it down below. Um, this asset is just one piece, right? Like we don't, it's not super complex. We didn't need to break it up. But if we did into individual components, those would be listed up here. And we'll talk more about that later in the texture set lists demo. Moving down, we've got our layer stack here. So this is again, very familiar to any other uh, Adobe user. It works bottom up. So if I put this paintbrush down below the paint, you would see it's hidden, but you can see that, that this is a simple functionality of one thing happens and the next thing, then the next thing. So you can continue to build a non-destructive workflow. Um, in the bottom right hand portion, this is going to be our parameter menu. This is going to be the area where we're going to be changing things like the uh, color of objects, the roughness, or, you know, all of those individual parameters that go with any one of our material attributes it comes down here. So yeah, the, the layer stack, the workspace, all these areas are going to be like your main functional areas. And all of this is customizable, but this is just the way it looks out of the box. Um, up top here, we've got some additional controls and settings, these will change based on, you know, what you're working with. So if you're in the, the paintbrush mode, you'll see that you've got, you know, you can change the size of the brush, you can change the flow value, uh, you can change the stroke capacity spacing. We've got our lazy mouse feature as well, and which we'll talk more about later as well. And then, you know, symmetry tools and all that. And then in the upper right hand side, these are going to be mostly viewer type setting. So we, you know, we can look at this from a perspective view. We can change this to an orthographic view. We can also switch from our standard 3D view to viewing the object in both 3D and 2D. Uh, so we can see the UV layout side by side with this. And then at the top, we've just got our basic, you know, file, save, export, import, undo, um, different modes, window settings, viewport settings, all that kind of good stuff going on up here. So that's the basic layout of the software. In the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about how you're going to be uh, pulling your asset in to Substance 3D Painter, and we'll be able to start creating some stuff from there.